hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so what a busy few days i have had when was the last time i spoke to you can't remember i think it was a few weeks ago very dehydrated so i am home alone connor's in london he's always away with modeling and castings and all that kind of stuff and when he's away i feel like my creativity comes into play and that's when i vlog i've got to say he's a very distracting character our connor is i was just sat in my wardrobe or should i say our wardrobe this tripod that i bought that you're on basically i bought it and connor ruins it just like everything i'm just gonna put you down so yeah i was sitting in my wardrobe room and i was doing me mum's 50th gift I've got some really nice stuff I need to show you the card I've got out. It is gorgeous. How beautiful is that? I got it off Etsy. And I've got uh, some really nice stuff. But I am waiting for a delivery from Selfridges, which should be here today. And it hasn't come. And something else off Etsy as well. So I've got uh, like a few experiences and then I've got uh, some nice gifts and stuff like that. But yeah, I just thought I would jump on here, say hello. We've had Connor's family this weekend. So we've had his mum and dad. It was my mum's 50th birthday party. It's not a birthday until tomorrow. That was great. Had a sickness bug. Was on the toilet for about six hours. That wasn't so great. And yeah, I'm just feeling really tired now. I am seven no i'm eight weeks post-op now which is brill but for the past three weekends it's been heavy it's been intense i was at abby's wedding which was amazing but it was a very intense long weekend and then i was in bournemouth to see my friend with a couple of my other friends that was great but it was very tiring and long and intense and then this weekend we've been hosting and it's been gorgeous but then it's also been quite intense so i did mention on my um instagram that i was gonna do a bit of a pretty little thing haul but don't mind that noise it's the builders but to be honest i haven't had the time oh sorry the postman was outside um so yeah i just really haven't had time it's been so busy and just chaotic but i did just want to show you a few things that i got because i've wore a lot of it some of it's in the wash but some of it i've got here the most important thing that i have to show you is this beautiful puffer jacket look at the vibe on this connor was like that actually looks like it's a designer this with a really nice neutral or brown or black outfit oh just gorgeous so i got that and i really wanted to show you that i also got this amazing molly may dress now what i'll do is i'll link everything down below that i'll show you but it was absolutely stunning on her with a blazer and i got this in a size eight but for me it was really far up my bum so i'm gonna have to get rid of that because it just doesn't fit I'm also just so tired so that's why I'm not trying it on for you and I know you'd want us to try it on for you but I'm just going to show you anyway. I also got this from the Molly May collection which again I'll link below so that you can see it on and it's these really nice wide leg chocolate pants with the matching shirt and this really does look gorgeous on so make sure you check out the links below because this is a really nice one to go into winter with autumn winter some nice heels quite warm you don't want to be freezing if you're going out if you're going out if you're like me you'll be a hermit <laughs> no i'm only really joking i'm gonna be i'm gonna try and be better okay i'm gonna try and be better then i got these wide leg pants if these aren't a bit of me don't know what is stunning got them in a size 10 unreal love them absolutely love them i'm hoping they're gonna look quite nice and not sure all my cellulite you know how much i love me a white leg trouser i then got this dress because i was nearly gonna wear it for me mum's party and then i tried it on and it's absolutely stunning like it looks gorgeous it's got like a lovely mesh 
um, sleeve in its midi, but it was a bit too revealing. And I had the same dress, but a short one in Mykonos in the blue. I'll insert a picture here. And it was amazing. So I'm going to keep it. Even if I don't wear it right now, I might wear it later in the year. I might wear it next year. I'm definitely keeping this because it's very flattering on. Also, the wardrobe, I know I showed you, it's still pretty much the same. Although we have had a little bit of an advance, which I will show you. Obviously, with Connor's family coming at the weekend, we had to kind of move the spare room around. Because the spare room is basically next door, like a dumping ground and we had like all our shoes we had all our suitcases so we've managed to put some stuff in the loft and i've put my shoes in here ideally i would like a floor to ceiling kind of wardrobe shelf thing that kind of matches this i mean i could i wonder if i could put my shoes there i quite like this setup so yeah i had to put them all here and i had to get a new what I did was I put mine and Connor's shoe rails from our old apartment together. So I joined them together. So I had a taller one and then I bought him a new one. <gasps> the next thing I got. Oh my God, they're so nice and cute. These lush PU leather shorts and they've got like a really nice flare on them. I mean, I got these in a 10. I am wondering if I should have got them in a 12 because when I tried them on, they were a little bit tight these will look amazing with something like this tucked inside and then some knee length boots so like that top long sleeve top tucked in black boots stunning and if you wanted to wear them through the day or like just in general you could definitely put some tights under that i thought and then got one of my all-time favorite dresses the brushed ribbed long sleeve black dress it comes so nice i actually ended up getting two of these by accident it wasn't on purpose I got that in a size eight these are my favorite dresses ever they feel so good you can dress them up look at the material you see that really nice soft gorgeous material and they look so flattering so you can dress them up, put some heels on, or if you like me, put some trainers on. Oversized coat, amazing, amazing option. Next thing I got was just this really gorgeous, it looks like Adenola to me, oversized half zip jumper. Really nice, looked great on the model. Wear it with leggings, wear it with cycling shorts, just so nice. Really nice material. I always find that the sweat material from Pretty Little Thing is gorgeous and if you know me you know that i live and i mean live in joggers jumpers and all that good stuff second last thing i got was this beautiful oversized t-shirt i think i ordered the cream one but i got the gray one and it's just really nice i just really like the print on the back of it i thought it looked really cool and I'm going to pair that with these like dark black grey, really cool girl jeans. And they've got some uh, rips in them and they've got a bit of a split at the bottom. And I really enjoy jeans like that. So yeah, that's everything I got. And as I wear them, I will show you because I'm being lazy and I just haven't got the minerals. After the weekend, your girl is tired. I can't try them on right now. So please forgive me. So it's been a few days since I was last on here and it was my mum's 50th birthday so been a little bit busy but I wanted to show you this brand new tan. I got this gorgeous gorgeous parcel. I haven't tried it yet but I am going to keep you posted. I'm sure you've all heard of it before. It is a filter by Molly May and literally it's meant to be unreal so they have kindly sent me both of the tanning mitts so the mini tanning mitt which is great for your face and then the tanning mitt for your body which is a beige dream as you know I love my beige they've also sent me the extra dark tanning mousse which is what I asked for and the self tanning drops which are for your face and your body so you basically just add those in to any moisturizer and you can just adjust how much you want to be tanned or how much you don't want to be tanned 
so I'm really excited for those. And then they also sent me the face and body tanning water. This is apparently a really unique, gorgeous formula. And I think all you do is spray it all over you and then smooth it over with the mitt. So I'm definitely going to be trying these. And also they sent me the gorgeous, very famous waffle robe, which I know Molly always wears. Can we just, please? I got a size medium and large because I want to be nice and comfy. Gorgeous, really, really nice material. And yeah, I'm going to keep you posted whether it's this vlog or another vlog. I'm going to let you know how it is. I've heard amazing reviews. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description box. And I'm so happy that I have a lovely discount code for you girlies. So yeah, I will leave the discount code in the description box. I'll also leave it here on screen. It's Beth D. That means you can get 10% off. So if you want to try it or you just love it and you want to repurchase, then you can use my code to do so. Very, very random one, but I thought I would show you because these are very stunning from, I found them on Amelia Liana's YouTube. She was doing a, a walk-in wardrobe to her and she was using these. So I thought, you know what? I definitely need some of these for, um, for my underwear drawer, which to be honest could be better, but I don't know, I don't know what it is, I just get so tired all the time and I know I've had my endometriosis surgery and I know, you know, I feel a lot better, you know, from that, but I still just get really tired. So yeah, I'm going to definitely do it more intricately. I also in here need a new light and I also want to change out all my hangers to be matching. I know it's a little bit organisational queen vibes but yeah just thought I would show you those just in case. I'll link them below and now I've got two random ones I'm like hmm what should I use these for? Um, just ordered a new skims bra from Selfridges because I am obsessed with skims and I'm obsessed with bras that aren't proper bras and I feel like this is going to be so nice it's like the mesh one comfy but just a little bit nicer and I had it in nude and I had it in black I'm wondering why I got nude and not black but I do like sienna nude I have actually got the skin thong which is similar to this which will go if this goes this was £40 but to be honest I do rate the skims stuff and I definitely want more for Christmas because it's just a really nice basic underwear pyjama brand which is really really nice. I'm going to try that on and figure out where I put these and it's Friday night and I've not really done very much this week or stuff that I could actually show you so this is just a random collection of stuff thrown together so we'll see how this turns out. Um, what else? What else do I have to tell you? I think that's it for now. How nice is this? Like I've got one very similar from Primark and it was a fraction of the price but it's like a cotton material and it's exactly the same shape and it's my favourite bra ever and this one is so gorgeous. I got a size medium and it's lovely. I want to show you it all but it's a bit see-through so I'm really happy for Canada and Lady. <laughs> the lighting's a bit dodgy. So I just thought I would jump on. It's Saturday night. I am going to put this video live tomorrow. And I just wanted to say thank you for watching and goodbye. But before I do... What's that? What? What's a scary thing? Scary. Connor's got a scary film on and I really can't stand it. No! I'm going to have to go to bed because my nervous system can't take it when there's scary things on the telly. Why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, it's just watching too many videos. Well, that's, no, but that's what, it, that's what it is. You know when people say your nerves can't take it, they yeah. mean your nervous system. I know, I know. It's funny you've heard that word a few no, times. No, no, me, me and Melissa have been talking about it for months. <laughs> see what you were going to say? Yeah. 
So anyways, I've been on an endometriosis rabbit hole or in one and I've been doing like loads of research and finding like different dietitians and nutritionists and talking to a couple on Instagram to kind of like find out like more about endometriosis, ways to cope with your symptoms and stuff like that because since having my um, surgery I've definitely had minimal symptoms Um, in the past two weeks I've been really stressed um, I've had like lots of different things just happen and I've just been feeling really really activated and in turn I feel like that's why I have had like digestive issues and like really bad fatigue recently and it's obviously you know anything like that just creates more inflammation in your body and just creates like the stress kind of is no good for any physical symptom anyway the more stress you are the more pain you're gonna get but anyways i digress the reason why i'm telling you that is because a few of the things that i've been reading a few of the conversations that i've been having with some of the dietitians and nutritionists and different people who offer programs i'm thinking of maybe documenting it on youtube and trying some new things out new diets maybe different mindset techniques and stuff like that and kind of letting you know if it works or how it's been you know how it impacts me um so yeah let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that because um i'm reading a lot about having to have detoxes and going on a detox to kind of rid yourself of all of the toxins and all of the inflammation in your body to kind of start again so yeah i'm thinking about doing that let me know if you would like to see that um i'm very aware that this video has been a lot of me being tired and in the house it's all been me in the house probably moving from one horizontal position to another so apologies for that but it's real life i'm really tired at the minute and i think i just like to keep it real so yeah um thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you would like to see some of that kind of some of the new things that i'm going to be doing to help with my endometriosis journey um and yeah i will see you again next time